Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, The Honorable Mr. Uh, Andriana Gofar, MMPD And all my friends uh, Before uh, we start the presentation uh, We will start the presentation with uh, Bismillah, Basmalah together Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, Let me introduce our group uh, We are from group 4 and me as the moderator and as the last speaker uh, and Ilvan as the first speaker Hasna the second speaker and then Hasan the third uh, speaker Baik untuk pemateri pertama yaitu Ilvan uh, Ilvan dipersilahkan Okay, thank you Gian. So right here I want to explain about discourse and society. So this chapter will discuss in more detail important aspect of the social and cultural settings uh, of spoken and written discourse. It will start with a discussion of the notion of discourse communities. It will then discuss the various way uh, how we express our social uh, identity through discourse. One of the identities uh, we express is our gender and identity. So the first one, I will explain about discourse communities. Okay, so I will explain about discourse communities. Discourse communities are collection of people or groups that work toward a common goal through communication. The way in which people communicate uh, with each other and exchange information will vary according to the group. This might include meetings, newsletter, a uh, casual conversation, or a range of the group types uh, or written and or spoken communication. That is, the discourse community will have particular ways uh, of communicating with each other and ways of getting things that they have developed through the time. Okay, I think that's all for me. Back to the moderator. Uh, thank you, Hilpan. Selanjutnya, pemateri kedua yaitu Hasna. Hasna, uh, dipersilahkan. Okay, thank you for moderator. Will be give me time for presentation. The next material is about language as social and local practice. Social factors such as who we are speaking to. The social context of the interaction, the topic, function, and goal of the interaction, social distance between speakers, the formality of the setting or type of interaction, and the status of each of the speakers are also important for accounting for the language choice that a person makes in these kinds of settings. So, jadi bahasa juga mempengaruhi terhadap status sosial dan uh, daerah lokalnya di mana topik pembicaraan fungsinya juga akan ikut menyesuaikan dengan status sosial mereka next material that's about discourse and gender Gender is not a result of what people are but a result of among other things, the way they talk and what they do. Sex and the city provides many examples of the lead characters doing gender identity of a certain kind not only in the way they talk but also in the way they dress and the way they behave as they speak to each other their lovers and their friends all levels of language and discourse as well as aspect of non-verbal and other kinds of behavior are involved in doing gender gender further interacts with other factors such as social class and ethnicity juga bahasa mempengaruhi gender di mana di sini ada beberapa contoh misal dari uh, televisi di mana ada 
ada interaksi antara lawan jenis itu mempengaruhi juga bagaimana mereka secara berbicara mereka bagaimana mereka menggunakan pakaian mereka dan bagaimana mereka berinteraksi dalam kesehariannya uh, maybe enough for me and back so thank you Hasna uh, dan selanjutnya yaitu pemateri ketiga yaitu Hasan um, terima kasih kepada moderator um, telah memberikan waktu untuk menjelaskan beberapa poin di sini and the first the first point is discourse and identity so uh, a person may have a number of identities each of which is more important and different at different points in time they may have uh, an identity as a woman an identity as a mother an identity as a someone's partner and identity as an official worker for example the ways in which people display their identities includes the way they use language and the way they interact with people so um so uh certainly discourse and identity are closely related concept in discourse analysis and discourse refers to the use of language in communication while identity refers to how individuals or a curve identity themselves and are identified by other others based on a range of factors such as age, gender, ethnicity, race, religion, social, class, and so on. Um, I think that's that's all I know from the first point. Um, so uh, I'm gonna move to a uh, second point that I'm gonna explain is identity and casual, uh, casual conversation. Uh, casual conversation is a type of talk in which people feel most uh, related and relax it most uh, spontaneous and most uh, themselves. Casual conversation is a critical site for the social construction of reality. So, uh, and it and also and also identity can be uh, construct and negotiated negotiated through casual conversation in various way. Casual conversation such as a small talk can often involve the exchange of, of personal information, uh, opinions, and experience, which can contribute to the constructions and negotiation of identity. Yeah, for example, in casual conversation, individuals might share information uh, about their hobbies, interests, or background, which can signal different aspects of their identity. They may also express opinions or attitudes about various topics, which can reveal their beliefs and values and contributes to the construction of their identity. I think that's all I know from the, for the second the point. We're gonna move to the uh, third point. Um, for the third um, point, I'm gonna explain about identity and why in academics discourse. discourse. Uh, as you can see in the PowerPoint of here, there's a um, uh, Highland says discuss a uh, Highland uh, discuss uh, the field that is often presented to students. The academic writing is faceless in personal discourse. Students are told, he says, to leave their personalities at the door when they write and not use personal pronouns such as I, which show what is being said. It's a student's view or place in things. As Highland argue. Almost everything to write say something about us and the start of relationship uh, that we want to set up with our readers. Indeed, one of the ways that expert academic writers to do this. So, uh, 
uh, additionally or in academic this course also requires individual to position uh, position themselves in relation to exiting knowledge and disciplinary con conventions this involves demonstrating knowledge of the field engaging with other and scholars ideas and establishing one one's own perspective of the topic I think that's all I know for the a third sub that I have explained mm, um, uh, it's the fourth uh, sub topic that I'm gonna explain uh, here is discourse and ideology this course uh, analysis often examine how specific linguistic features such as uh, metaphors, pronouns, and evaluative language. So, uh, evaluative language are used to construct and maintain ideological positions. They also analyze how this course um, reflects and reinforces social hierarchies based on factors such as gender, race, and social class. So, uh, uh, in brief, this course refers to any communicative event such as a conversation, a text, and a speech or a gesture in which language it, uh, is used to convey meaning. This course can be studied at different level of analysis, such as the level of sounds, words, a sentence. Or a larger unit of communication, and ideology, on the other hand, refers to a system of beliefs, values, and ideas that shape that reflect social and political power relations. So ideologies are often implic, implic, and take for granted, and they can be present in various aspects of society such as politics, economics, culture, and language. So for the fourth um, subtopic that I've explained, I think that's gonna be enough. And uh, so I have uh, the last subtopic. We're gonna move to the last subtopic. Mm. So I'm gonna explain uh, the last uh, subtopic. Uh, we have summary and summarizing is an important skill in this course analysis and it refers to the process of considering a uh, condensing a uh, longer text of conversation into a sort of operation that captures the main points of themes so summarizing uh, in addition also summarizing can be used to compare and uh, contrast a different pieces of discourse so for example uh, researchers might summarize two different political speech in order to identify uh, similarities and differences in the language uh, the theoretical strategies employed and the ideological position expressed and overall uh, summarizing is an important skill and uh, so, an important skill and tool and in this course analysis, and it can help to provide a clear and concise overview of longer pieces of this course, as well as to uh, identify key themes, key themes and uh, trend in the discourse. I think that's gonna be no for me uh, as the third speaker in this group. So, uh, uh, we, uh, back to moderator. Baik, dan yang terakhir yaitu saya. E, selanjutnya yaitu e, diskusi question. E, the, discu the discussion is a tool to defend our understanding of the concept discussed in the book. E, nah, dalam subtopik ini atau dalam materi ini, pembaca akan belajar tentang pertanyaan diskusi yang dapat digunakan untuk membahas hubungan antara wacana dan masyarakat, kekuasaan dan didominasi dalam wacana, serta 
bagaimana analisis uh, wacana dapat membantu dalam memahami fenomena sosial yang kompleks uh, dan materi terakhir yaitu data analysis project uh, which is a data analysis project as a means uh, to practice wacana analysis by offline offline the concept discussed in the book to actual wacana data nah dalam materi terakhir ini pembaca akan belajar tentang topik proyek analisis data yang dapat dilakukan Se- seperti menganalisis penggunaan bahasa dalam pidato politik iklan televisi atau wacana di media sosial lainnya e, tujuan dari sub- tujuan dari materi ini adalah memberikan pembaca pengalaman praktis dalam menerapkan konsep-konsep analisis wacana dalam situasi di dunia nyata dan memperdalam pemahaman mereka tentang bagaimana analisis wacana dapat digunakan untuk memahami fenomena sosial yang lebih luas baik kita semua sudah memaparkan materi tentang discourse and society Dan saya akhiri presentasi ini, mohon maaf jika ada kekurangan And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh